fellow South African people, brothers and sisters. It's just the caterpillar man of four. I'm warning you, my brothers and sisters in South Africa. Stop what you are doing. Don't turn our country. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. We must sin. Don't listen. The politics. Don't destroy what we have. What we have now is for me and you. And our kids. Our kids, they're going to have their own kids, which is our grandchildren. If we destroy what we have right now, what about them? I'm warning you, South Africa. I want to give you the example. <laughs> By Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Basically, I'm calling today. They met Zimbabwe to look like what it is today. They poisoned them. They mislead them. They were singing their names, chatting, supporting them while they are making money, encouraging them to burn the factories, to burn their pharmacy, to burn their workshops. Now there is nothing in Zimbabwe. It's going to happen here in South Africa. I love my country. I don't want my kids when they grow up to go to other African countries being called foreigners, brothers and sisters, please. Don't be misled. Don't be misled. I'm warning you. We mustn't destroy what we have right now. We mustn't destroy why we, what we have right now because of the politics. Zimbabwean people are highly educated. Some are doctors. Some are teachers. Nurses, now they are renting in the back room, in the shack, in other countries, being called foreigners. Don't be misled. No one is above the law. If you do that, that means you're saying... That means a jail it made for the poor people, which is me and you. We looted. We burn our shops. We take groceries, which is going to last just two weeks. What about tomorrow? What are we showing our kids? Why are we burning our own thing? Why? I love my country, black and white, Indian and colored. I love you all. <laughs> Let us work together. We must not allow politics to divide us. Please, I'm begging you in the name of peace in South Africa. <laughs>